What is including is the by point, um, triangle, triangle strap, and also triangle fan. So then it go down to vertex shaders. So and cap like any type of vertices that um, you declare on the CPU, you pass it in on the vertex. And this vertex program run on every single vertices. So this vertex only take one vertex uh, shaders only take in one vertex as at a time. So let's say you have like passed in um, a million uh, vertices, right? This mm -hmm. one run one at a time. The entire program run one at a time, and have like one a million vertices. You will have like have an index one zero one two three four five six seven blah 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 until nine hundred and ninety nine something, right? Mm -hmm. And then, so this one it will take in one at a time, work with cap like zero index first, and then one, and then two, and then three, and remembers this this running parallel. So after the vertex, it go down to a fragment shaders. Fragment shaders. So you see the varying, that one right there. Varying in vertex shaders mean output. So you can pick up like do doing something with the varying stuff mm. and then will become the input of the fragment that's how it works yeah. so I can like skip a bunch of step over here because over here there's on, on a, on like another step what is what is going to work? rasterization rasterization yeah so the way it works is that so Let's say you want to work with a triangle, the hello world in OpenGL, right? So you pass in three vertices, right? And this got like vertex uh, 0, vertex 1, vertex 2. The vertex will run on this one, this one, and this one. Mm run it in cap like in the parallel fashion so yeah and you want to cap like change these colors let's say cap like red this blue this green right and the output of this vertex which is in there is called v color so that v color will be assigned with the red value Again, V colors aside with the blue value. So again, V color aside with the green value. Each program of these program run independently on the vertices. So after this process done, the rasterization will complete. So it will interpolate what the, the varying variable from this one to this one. Let's say it's a breaking down to cap like. 10 different segments, right? And we change, change from, from red to blue, similar to here, depends how many pixels between this. So you will see cap like the triangle with cap like a uh, very colorful uh, transform uh, from red to cap like to blue, cap to green right here. And the fragment shaders will in part run parallel on every single pixel. Vertex shaders run parallel on every single vertex. Mm -hmm. Got the idea? I'm not sure whether or not Kaplan, my explanation is good enough for these kind of stuff. No, that was a really good explanation. You, you. A more practical kind of like, let's say we're in open frameworks and we want to apply a shader to uh, let's just say a plane that we're looking at. So from Open Frameworks, uh, capital F, <laughs> we would send uh, data about the like the resolution, the size, all the vertex data from that plane into a vertex shader. 
And that includes like the information, like the primitives, which can be a point, like that just displays like a vertex. Metal from iOS. So kind of like for example, this so, example of wheel right here. So basically it uses point primitive. Yeah. Yeah. And each of these points right here is in a vertex. And he has a grid of, let's say, have like 20 by 20 by 20, right? So that yeah. means he going to pass in, um, how many is that? Um, that 420, well, 8,000 well, yeah, vertices like so. into here. Vertex shaders will run 8,000 times from tablet on each uh, vertex. Uh, vertex in parallel fashion so if that how why make it open jails really fast about it so vertex shaders will determine the locations so usually you use it at kind of like determine the locations of the point in the 3d space so when you want to kind of like color it that will be sent into the uh, fragment shaders so fragment shaders will run every single pixel inside of that point to determine the color mm. overall for that point. So yeah, and then it kind of you, you show it on the screen. So vertex has to do with the location. Usually. It, usually. But, yeah, sometimes. In 3D space, but it also has to do with the points, the vertices, the triangles within that space. No, you don't. No. You send that information down. It yeah. doesn't know anything about it. Just only yeah, just know knows, about point. This is a point. This is what the point's doing. Then yeah. the frag shader puts it all together. Yeah, the frag shader. sending it to the GPU. To exactly. Yeah. Mm. So that's how it works. The point is quite a very basic one. Um, very easy, easy to kind of like get your uh, wrap your head around it. Uh, you can start with kind of like a triangle. Most of people kind of like start with the, 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 the triangle one. Basically, most of the OpenGL tutorials start with a tri triangle one. Because it's like a filled in mesh, basically. Yeah. I mean, like if exactly. you were to render a 3D object, you would want to have, use triangles because that's uh -huh. out. Like that's how this table looks. It's like if you were to break it down into a render, it would be a bunch of triangles. That's yeah. that, that's the process of uh, tessellation, really. So when you send it to into the vertex shader, it's like, oh, let's. This is a mesh, but now I need to put it together. So let's, uh, like, as it goes through the pipeline, it's like, oh, so there's a bunch of triangles, and everything's made out of triangles in the world of rendering. Pretty much, yeah. Uh huh. So it's funny, yeah. Uh, like a tetrahedron basically right is that the shape well I mean like any circle that you see basically, in yeah, 3d yeah. is just triangle tri oh, triangles right. that are to a resolution that you can't all oh, right because they're actually 2d triangles forming a 3d sphere. yeah yeah and that one is basically a triangle fan right there yeah yeah yeah, there are a few different ways of rendering the triangles but the fans yeah the, most the fan is got the most common one so yeah so, better pictures? I don't think you still have kind of like... Uh, well, I mean, it takes time to like yes, understand Yes, it takes time like to, uh, yeah, to observe on up the information. All right, uh, DLSL 101. <laughs> <laughs>